Hi, my name is Michael Weinberger, and I work on the business development and partners team at Pangea, where I'm responsible for integrations and other technical details related to partners. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how Pangea and Auth0 work together to deliver additional Pangea security capabilities through the Auth0 marketplace into Auth0 authentication flows. Pangea is a collection of security services that can quickly and easily be added to any cloud application. Pangea provides developers with SDKs that allows them to easily integrate security services into their products, similarly to the way that Auth0 does with authentication and the Auth0 SDKs. We're also adding capabilities to the Auth0 marketplace through the use of Actions, where we're adding Pangea's security capabilities so that you can easily and quickly add them to any Auth0 authentication flow. So when you're using Auth0 and you would like to add additional security capabilities such as restricting access from an IP specifically known to be malicious or restricting access from a VPN or proxy, you can do that using Pangea Actions by downloading them directly from the Auth0 marketplace. So to start off, we're here in our Auth0 console and we'll go down to our Actions and to our Flows. These are all the different points where we can add actions from the Auth0 marketplace as part of our authentication flow. So for example, if we wanted to add additional capabilities to our user registration, uh, let's say we were in a situation where we offer a free trial as part of our service. And we're worried about our users abusing that free trial system to continually create new accounts and continually use those free trials. We can go into our pre-user registration flow. So we're gonna go over to our add action capability here, and we're gonna browse the actions that are available in the Auth0 marketplace. We'll go ahead and search for Pangea. And then we have our domain check action, which we're gonna to add to our Auth0 uh, deployment here. Once we've added the uh, action, there are a couple of things which we need in order to configure it. So to do that, we're gonna switch over to the Pangea console and show you what it would look like as a new Pangea user to configure this particular action. So when you log into Pangea for the first time, the first thing that you do is create an organization and you can select the location where you want that organization to be. Pangea offers its security services uh, to be deployed in any specific region as well as in Amazon or in GCP. So we're gonna go ahead and create a new org in US West here. And once our organization is created, we have to create what we call a token. So this is the Pangea console, and from the Pangea console, you'll see that we have access to a wide variety of security services. So things which we wanna use in this case, such as domain intelligence. We also have access to other best of market security intel through our IP intelligence and file intelligence. We also have services such as our secure audit log, which provides you a secure, tamper-proof, and cryptographically verifiable audit log, which you can use for logging, uh, which you can also integrate with Auth0 for log streaming if you wish. We also have a Redact service, an embargo service, where we have a vault. We're working on a large number of additional security services so that you can add even more capabilities, not just to Auth0, but also directly to your applications. So as we've created our uh, new organization here in US West, we have a regular domain. So we have our aws.us.pangea.cloud domain. So we'll go ahead and copy that and put that in as our domain in our configuration over on Auth0. Then we're gonna go ahead and configure our domain intelligence. So if we click on domain intelligence, here we'll be able to create the token. And the token is where we'll actually get permission to take an action against the Pangea API. So we'll go ahead and see that domain intel is selected. We'll go ahead and click done. It'll create a new token for our domain intel service. And we'll go ahead and copy that token and put that here into our configuration as well. And then finally, we have to select a provider for the domain check. Pangea partners with a number of companies that have best of market security intel. In the case of domain check, we're gonna go ahead and use CrowdStrike. Great. Now that all those things are configured, we can go back to our flows. We can go back to our pre-user registration. And we now have our domain check available to us, which we can now drag into our flow and click apply. And now whenever a user tries to authenticate to uh, create a new user account on our service, they'll automatically have to go through that Pangea domain check that will filter out those suspicious domains, protecting us from the situation where users might be trying to create those free trials. So another situation you might run into is one of fraud. 
So if you have a service which accepts credit card payments, uh, you might want to protect your service from connections from known malicious IPs or IPs which come through VPNs or proxies since they're significantly more likely to be bad actors with stolen credit card numbers or otherwise be users trying to do bad things to your service. So we can add those additional actions to our authentication flow uh, so that we can add additional security or just straight out reject those types of connections. So here I have an example of a login flow which is doing a number of additional steps using Pangea. It's doing our is proxy, so it's checking to see if the connection is from a proxy. It's doing our is VPN, which is checking to see if the service is from a VPN. It's doing our IP check, which does an IP reputation check using best of market security intel to determine whether or not this IP address is known to be suspicious. And then it's logging all that information to Pangea's secure audit log. So what would that actually look like in production? So we'll switch over here to an example production application where there's some user content which is gated behind a login, the same that you would expect on any website. And we'll show you the process of what it would look like when a user logs into your site and then automatically has those Pangea actions trigger as part of your Auth0 authentication flow. So we'll go ahead and click login here. And when we go to login, it redirects us to the regular Auth0 authentication window where we'll go ahead and log into our site. And after we log in, what we'll see is a profile information that shows that we in fact were able to successfully log into the site. And we'll also see Pangea's audit log viewer, which shows us all of the records of the authentications that we've attempted to perform. So you can see here that we uh, have an attempted login context. So this will give us the details of the Auth0 authentication that we attempted to do. So you can see where I tried to log into this site here from my home in New Hampshire. And in addition, we have the details of our IP reputation check. So in this case, our IP address was determined to not be found in the data set. CrowdStrike was the provider that we used to check to see if this IP was particularly malicious and it was not known to be malicious. So we passed that check. And then we also were able to do our VPN and proxy check using Digital Envoy as our provider. And we were able to determine that this IP address that we were trying to log in from was in fact not a VPN and was in fact also not from a proxy. So hopefully this gives you some idea of what it's like to add security capabilities using Pangea to your Auth0 authentication flows and help you to save time and money when you're in situations where you need to add additional security context, security information, or security capabilities. You can also use Pangea to add additional security capabilities directly into your applications from a developer perspective, making it really quick and easy for you to get that additional security context or security capabilities that you need directly into your application.